we just keep it staying. Six o'clock. This meeting is called to order. Ask Neil to lead in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And as we always do, we will begin our meeting with reviewing and approving minutes from previous meetings, beginning with the work session and non-public meeting on December 9, 2013. Move that they be approved as Second. written. Second. It's been moved by Bill and seconded by Mike that those minutes be approved. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye minutes are approved. Next we have the regular select board meeting minutes on December 9, 2013. Make a motion to approve. Second. It's been moved by Dick, seconded by Mike. Call those in favor. Aye. 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 Then we have the select board budget work session on December 16 and 30, 2013, starting with December 16. I move to approve the minutes. Second. It's been moved by Mike, seconded by Bill. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And finally, the December 30, 2013 budget work session minutes. I move to approve those. Second been moved by Mike and seconded by Dick. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Those minutes are approved. Announcements. The select board will meet on the following dates. Regular meetings at 6 p.m. First budget public hearing on January 27, 2014. Second budget public hearing, if needed, and reading of petition Warren articles on February 6, 2014. Work review sessions prior to the regular meetings will start at 5 p.m. Town offices will be closed on January 21, 20, 2014, in observance of Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. And there will also be a budget work session on January 21st, 2014 at 5 p.m. There will be a special state primary election on Tuesday, January 21, 2014. Polls will open at 8 a.m. and close at 7 p.m. And this is a primary for the Office of Executive Council. All of the Meetings will be held in the town hall unless otherwise posted. The election will be at the elementary school. Weather observations for the month of December are available in the town hall. And citizens wishing to be listed on the select board's agenda should notify the town hall before 12 p.m. on the Friday before the scheduled meeting. And moving on to our agenda, we have Mike Currier with the nonprofit committee report. Mike, come on up. Okay. Um, went through the process as we have the last couple of years regarding the, uh, the nonprofit um, financial commitments from the town, and to stay level funded, we essentially have kept everything at the same amount as last year. Uh, so each one should we go through each one of them and, and announce the amounts, or what, what the protocol? We can do that, and if there's any discussion, we can continue it as well. Yeah. Uh, do we want to discuss um, Red Cross? We do have one nonprofit that is no longer under consideration, which makes available an additional small amount of money. Um, and as I understand it, the Red Cross has been called upon quite a bit more mm. recently yeah. than they had been previously. Yeah. Um, they do man our emergency shelters, and they have been called on to find housing for families where there are fires and anything like that. They yeah. I'm sure that this amount may have just covered what happened Christmas Day right. in the vicinity. You know, I mean, that's, that's a pretty big expense, and we've had some 
We've had a, I think we've had a, a fair number of those kinds of situations this year. Yeah, I'm surprised that their request is as low as it is to begin with. <clears throat> they requested 3,441. Mm -hmm. so Do we have any that. idea how they came up with that number? No, that would be. You know, it was, it's basically the same information each year. They show, you know, how many visits they make, the things that they do, et cetera, so that, you know, they, I think they kind of looked at that at realistically, that they felt that was a fair percentage to ask from Plymouth. Um, um, basically, I think that's. I'm going to suggest we take 700 of that, 795, and put it in the Red Cross to make their um, amount 1,500. I guess that's a motion. I don't know. Should we be voting on individual lines on this, or should we be voting? No, no, we'll wait we'll we'll until we get to the end. You, you can do it the way it works. Hmm? You, you can do it individually. Okay. Well, why don't we go ahead and do that then, so there won't be any question about it? Is there any discussion about Mike's suggestion motion that we? Oh, you want a second? Hmm? You want a second? Uh, yes, please. <clears throat> second. All right. It's been moved by Mike and seconded by Bill. Any discussion on that? There being none, I would ask for a vote to grant the American Red Cross $1,500 for the 2014-15 budget. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? $1,500 is approved for the Red Cross. Moving on to Communities for Alcohol and Drug-Free Youth. Yeah, um, <clears throat> this year they're asking for $10,000 uh, to stay level funded. We're looking at giving them $6,000. Um, so we're going to stay in line with level funding there. Um, they have added um, much more with the restorative justice, but they've gotten support from that. The funds come from, from the, the county, which is, I think, a great thing. Uh, so it's not really our issue. But, uh, so I think that's, that's, we felt that was fair to at least maintain it. And certainly their, their business isn't going down. <laughs> Anytime soon, so. Thank you. Is there um, a motion to approve <coughs> a grant of $6,000 for Katie? So moved. Second. It's been moved by Dick, seconded by Neil. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Um, I'm going to abstain because I'm on the Katie board. Okay, thank you. Moving on to Genesis Behavioral Health. Uh, Genesis is asking for $10,800. They received $7,500 last year, so we're going to keep that at that amount. Um, and the thing is, having worked there in the past myself, I have insight into the kind of the, the page two expenses that get picked up by them and the things that they do with our police department and whatnot. So um, they're a good service to have around. And, I know they you know, are. At times they take some big hits in terms of, of different things, but they, they really, uh, I think, save the town and the police and everybody a lot of money by what they do. So um, the 7500 will be the same as last year. Okay. Is there a motion to approve $7,500 to Genesis Behavioral Health? Second. It's been moved by Bill, seconded by Mike. All those in favor, or any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. Next, we have Grafton County Senior Citizens Council. They have asked for an additional $1,500 this year, but at a, again, um, to remain level funded, we would like we recommend uh, keeping it at $15,000. A motion to approve 15,000 to Grafton County Senior Citizens Council. So moved. Second. It's been moved by Mike, seconded by Bill. Any discussion? <coughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> that one is approved. Next, we have Pemi Baker Home Health and Hospice, which I believe is now called Pemi Baker Community Health. I think we need to check on that before we. And they were looking for an additional um, 64, 44, 15, up from 15,000 for last year. But again, to stay level funded, we recommend we, we maintain that 15,000. I would uh, move that we approve the 15,000. Second. Been moved by Mike, seconded by Dick. Any discussion concerning that one? In that case, I'd ask for a vote. All those in favor of 15,000 to Pemi Baker. Community health, I think it is. Aye. 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 
opposed? It being none, we move on to, <coughs> it's actually Bridge House and not Pemi Bridge House. Yeah. Um, they've requested the same amount as last year, so that made our decision pretty easy. Um, and again, I know that they, they do a lot to help the town in terms of the homeless and uh, helping out with some of the other, other things that we need to spend money on. They, they have been an extraordinarily big help to us in terms of savings in our welfare <coughs> department. Yeah. So. Yeah. I would um, move to approve the $10,000 for Bridge House. A second. It's been moved by Mike and seconded by Bill that that be approved. Is there any discussion on that? Being none, I'd ask for a vote. <coughs> All those in favor of 10000 to Bridge House? Aye. 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 Opposed? There being none. All right. Next, we have the Pemi Youth Center. Yeah. They uh, requested 5000 this year. Um, we're going to stick with the 3000 that they received last year to keep level funded. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Moved by Bill, seconded by Mike. Any discussion? You guys are mixing it up a little bit. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All those in favor? All right. Mixed up all right. I'm going to say that as my wife's on the board. Okay. So we Two have. Are. Four in favor and one abstention. <coughs> Next, Plymouth Regional Chamber of Commerce. Again, they, they requested 2600 which they did last year, and to stay level funded, we're recommending we do the same. Do they have a furniture line? No, I'm only kidding. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. What? A furniture line. <laughs> <laughs> you were reading my mind. <laughs> I'm, I'll move that we uh, fund them at 2600 Plymouth Regional Chamber of Commerce. Second. It's been moved by Neil and seconded by Dick. Any discussion? There being none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Next, we have Tri-County Community Action in Whole Village Family Resource Center. And they were requesting 7646 this year, but we're going to keep them to be level funded at 4300 <coughs> I move to approve uh, the Tri County CAF um, amount of $4,300. Second. Moved by Mike and seconded by Bill that that amount be approved. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 I'm going to abstain from that. Okay. Next, we have Voices Against Violence. Uh, they're requesting $6,000, uh, $2,000 more than last year, but again, stay level funded. We're going to keep them at $4,000. We're recommending that to the board. Move that we uh, utilize $4,000 for the budget. Second. It's been moved by Bill, seconded by Mike. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 That is approved. Then we have mm -hmm. Court Appointed Special Advocates for Children, or CASA. And they've, uh, they've asked for $1,000, which is $200 more than last year, but again, for level funding's sake, $800 we're recommending. Have I a motion concerning that? I, I move that uh, we uh, fund uh, the CASA at $800. Second. That has been moved by Neil, seconded by Dick. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Next, we have Mid-State Health Center, CRC Development Corporation. And they were requesting 9100 this year, which is 3100 above last year. But again, as all the rest, we're looking at $6,000. Uh, we're recommending to maintain level funding for the town. Uh, move to approve that amount for Mid State Health. Second. It's been moved by Mike, seconded by Bill. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Approved. And finally, do we even need to discuss Waterloo Valley? We talked about that at our work session, and they're no longer serving us. So. Or should yeah. we? We should probably have we a vote. Yeah. Um, there was a request for a thousand dollars from the Waterville Valley Regional Chamber of Commerce, and their primary 
service to the town of Plymouth was in maintaining the information kiosk at the old McDonald's site. So the board has determined that that is no longer a nonprofit that we will support. So thank you very much, Mike. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Yep. Thank you very much. Moving on through our agenda, um, is there any public <coughs> comment this evening? There's no public. Okay. And we have no non-public, no additional non-public to discuss? In that case, I would request a motion to adjourn. Do you have any committee reports? Or hmm? Oh, no committee reports. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I've done that before. All right, <laughs> committee reports. Bill. I have nothing. <laughs> I have nothing to report. No. Well, actually, there was a uh, school board meeting, and um, they were going over the budget and what they're going to target for you know the next few years. And one is uh, an emphasis more on technology, and uh, that includes. Um, well, actually, it was kind of refreshing because uh, they're, they're going to be more dependent on you know smart instruments, smartphones, smart. You know, so there's going to be both policy and you know, um, finances to going towards utilization of, uh, you know, like laptops and probably like s smart tablets in the classroom. So I thought that was kind of cool because, um, you know, it seems to go away from previous policy. Did they announce dates for their budget hearings? Um, I don't believe so. Okay. I could find out and get back. Yeah. Uh, uh, I well, I went to the Chamber of Commerce meeting last Friday, but I had to leave early and missed uh, a good part of it. So I don't really have anything to report from that. I know that that there's a group there working on the Chamber's vision statement, which I don't think they've had before. So they're thinking about you know the direction the Chamber's going to go and the services it's going to provide and what it you know what it's going to be in the future. They're trying to work on its. It's a um, vision, I guess, a little more thoroughly. So that's kind of the big thing there. Right now. Thank you. Dick? I don't have anything new to the report, but I will get something to you and Paul on the water and sewer meeting tomorrow. Great. Planning board uh, postponed its last meeting. Okay. That's last work session. That was a work session. Yeah. Right. And I have nothing to report. So we yeah, have just uh, a chance to have two announcements. Two announcements, sure. <laughs> two more. So uh, keep the heat on. Uh, it's having its event on the fifteenth. And it's sold out. It's sold out, but um, there's still time. No, um, <laughs> you know we're we're still um, you know uh, uh, it's acquiring sponsorships and donations. If you want to um, donate to this uh, very valuable uh, fundraiser, then please feel free to contact me or anyone on the keep the heat you know on board. And also, the Educational Theater Collaborative is about to, uh, you know, start their performance of Oliver, and that's going to be, I think it's the 22nd is the... Uh, 22nd through the 26th, fifth, I think. Or 6th. 6th is a Sunday? I don't I remember. But it's Wednesday yeah. through Sunday. So uh, be sure to buy your tickets. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And at this time, I would request a motion to adjourn. Move that we adjourn. Second. It's been moved by Neil, seconded by Mike. All those in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> Everything is adjourned. It's a wrap. <laughs> it's a wrap. <laughs> yeah.